Number seven, do you know what today is? Well, for most of us, it was just another day on the calendar, right? But for a growing number of people, March 4th is a day to do just that. March 4th with your dream. Joining me is the creator of the March 4th campaign, local marketing and ad guru, Joy Ryman. Joy, it's always good to see you. So what is March 4th? Explain that to me, and yeah. what's the inspiration for it? March 4th is a movement. It tells people to to take the day off, to take the day on. Uh, the inspiration for it was, uh, actually I was working for Federico Fellini in Rome. I was in a car accident. While I was uh, recuperating in the hospital, I learned about the five tenets of success. Thumbs up, point at what you want, your purpose, give your middle finger to fear, and march forth. And God being in the details. For 20 years, we've had our employees march forward. And that means you give them the day off from work yes. on March 4th, as I understand, to what? To follow yep. their dreams? They, they have the day off to take the day on and follow Follow, you know, look, we all have dreams, but we don't do anything with them. Yeah. On March 4th, that's your day to move forward. Fireflies, they, they, they don't light up unless they're moving forward. It's the same thing with people. So what kind of reaction have you gotten? Oh my, well, I just out, was at um, the green room there. Senator Cleland called. Uh, a woman, uh, uh, Sally, called. She, she got married on March 4th. She wanted to thank me for her family. Uh, we have bankers becoming bakers. We have people sky, skydiving and we have people just saying I love you. Yeah, very nice. And of course there was a proclamation by the city council as well yes. declaring this day. Humbled, honored, but now it's real. Recognizing it. Joey, thanks for, very much. We know you always come up with these great <laughs> ideas through your Bright House company. Your company has put together a video that really, really explains this concept even better than what we're saying right here. So we're going to show it to you right now. Joey, again, thank you. Thank you, Brenda. a list of billionaires from Georgia. Now, most of those people are entrepreneurs on that list, which means they each had a vision, they had a dream, and made it happen. Makes me circle back to the March 4th concept that we talked about earlier in this broadcast, taking time to actually start pursuing that one big thing you dream of doing but never really do. Those businessmen and women on the Forbes list, they marched forth. Don't get it twisted, though. Marching forth is not about making money. It's about following dreams. So the family that Jay Watson showed us, who's doggedly pursuing insurance coverage for autism treatment in Georgia, that family is marching forth. Scientists and doctors searching for a cure for HIV and apparently succeeding are marching forth. And all that marching forth is changing the world for the better. So question is, what could you do if you picked up your feet and marched forth? Um, almost all of us are sitting on something that we want to do. We just need to do it. Even if it's just in your own neighborhood, it could still make the world a better place. I know the sun is set and the date March 4th is coming to an end now, but there's still time to beat the stroke of midnight tonight and commit to following through on the symbolic mandate of this date. Shining a light on your dream, living your purpose, and taking action. Seizing the day to March 4th.
That's it for us. We want to thank you for joining us. We hope to see you back here tonight at 11. Until then, have a great evening, everyone.